Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 13 of the my Unity Make an RPG series, and today I'm going to continue to go over saving, and I'm going to cover uh, serialization. Uh, sorry, it's been a few days since I made the last video, but I travel a lot for work. Uh, but anyways, I, I went ahead and opened up the project that we've been working in, and in our uh, saving and loading folder, I created a new C# -sharp script, and I label and I called it PP serialization, and that stands for Player Prefs serialization. Uh, the first video that I'm going to be doing on this, and I'll probably come back to it later on, uh, when I understand it even more, is um, the first. I'm just going to be save. We're going to be serializing information, serializing objects, so that we can save a whole bunch more information in player prefs. I understand that's not the best way to do it, and I'm going to cover how to use uh, maybe an XML database or a uh, JSON string instead. But that'll be much later in the tutorial. So go ahead and open that up in Mono Develop, and the first thing that you guys need to do is erase the Mono Behavior. We're not going to be inheriting from Mono Behavior, and we need to add these uh, libraries that we're going to be using. We're going to be using input and output, runtime serialization, and then our formatters, and we're going to be using a binary formatter. So the basic idea of what we're going to be doing today is uh, it's going to be probably a short video, but I'm just going to cover um, how to set up this script, and it's what we're going to be doing is it's when we have an object so let's say our base item object and we want to serialize it that means we're going to convert that entire item whatever we create into a string of ones and zeros and then we're going to save it somewhere in this case we're going to save it uh, in player prefs but that, that doesn't have to be the case you can save it anywhere and um, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to set up a binary formatter. So you're going to go public, we're going to go public static. Oh, not abstract. Binary formatter. We're going to call it binary formatter. And we're going to set it equal to a new binary formatter. Now, this might be confusing for people and it, it was for me at first, so I definitely recommend going on to Microsoft's website and reading about C# -sharp and serialization, but it's pretty cool. Um, especially if you're working on mobile apps, mobile development, player prefs is uh, when you save into player prefs already, it's hidden. But this is just like an even an extra step. It's putting in binary, so it's just harder to decipher what it is right away. So now we're going to create a function. It's going to be our public. It's going to be a public static. Uh, we're going to return nothing, so it's going to be a void. And this is what we're going to call our uh, save function. And in our save function, what we need to do is send it a string, and the string is going to be the key that we're saving it in, or the tag. So if you remember, in our player prefs, it's set a string, and you send it this uh, the string. And my I always use uppercase, and that's what I call a key or a tag. And that's what it's this key or this string points to whatever's in in this player's uh, player pref save spot. So that's what we need to send it. So we're going to say we'll call it a, a save tag. And then we need to send it an object, and the object needs to be a object that can be serialized. And I'll show you guys how to do that too. And we'll just call it uh, object. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is set up a memory stream, and we'll call that uh, memory stream too memory stream if I can type and I'm going to set that equal to new memory stream and then we're going to be calling our binary formatter so now we're going to we're actually going to this is where we serialize the object so you're going to go binary formatter dot serialize okay and as you can see this takes a uh, the stream which is our memory stream and then our object so you're going to go memory stream <laughs> stream it's supposed to be stream let's correct that and then comma and then our object in this case it's just obj next we're going to string we're going to create a temporary variable and this is the t this basically this temporary variable is what uh, we're going to get from our memory stream so or this this temp is this string temp is actually just going to be a series of ones and zeros, which is the binary uh, what we serialized. So that's going to be system dot convert dot two base sixty four string, and that's going to be memory. 
where is it? Memory stream dot two, I think it's dot two stream. Uh, no, I think it's actually memory stream. I forgot, I think it's dot IO. I'll be right back, I'm gonna double check. Okay, I'm back and I just needed to double check, but we're actually gonna do memory stream to array. And then so it's now that we have this temporary variable, which is our serialized object, we're going to save it in player prefs. So we're gonna go player prefs dot set string. And this is where we're gonna uh, input our save tag and then our temp variable. So right away, well, let me go back through this because I know I still struggle with it sometimes. But basically, um, we're, we created a function that we can be accessed anywhere. And this function requires a, st a string and an object. And this object needs to be able to be serialized. And what that means is it needs to be able to convert it, needs to be able to be converted into a string of ones and zeros. And that's what these three lines do. Basically, we open, we set up a new function. This is, you can look this up on Microsoft's website. We format it so that we're going to serialize the object to binary and we're going to set it equal to this temporary string and we save this temporary string into player prefs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up the uh, public static. Public static. Uh, this one's going to return an object. This is going to be our load function. Okay. And then in our load function, it's going to take a string and it's going to take a save tag or that's what I'm going to call it and again if you remember to access the loaded to whatever to access the uh, value that we want that's in player press we need to send it a string which points to the object or value excuse me that's in that uh, spot in player prefs so back into our serialization string or our script we're going to go string temp we're going to create a temporary variable and we're going to set it equal to our player prefs dot get string and we're gonna send it save tag. Okay, so now we have a string, it's temporary, and then we're gonna manipulate it. And the first thing we need to, need to do is check if the string is empty. So we're gonna go if temp is equal to string dot empty. And basically, this just checks to see if literally there's nothing in the string. If the string returns nothing, then we can't do anything. So we're just going to return null. So if the string is completely empty, it's just a blank temporary variable, then we don't want to do anything. Otherwise, what we want to do is deserialize it. So again, we need to set up a memory stream. Call it memory stream. And here we go memory stream. I'm going to set that equal to a new memory stream. Nope. I'm just going to copy it. Like that. And then oh, in this memory stream we need to do system.convert dot from our base64 string and we're going to send it our temp variable. So what we're doing to explain it a little bit better is that we're get we're just preparing this the memory stream where we're going to be sending this information through and we're going to be telling we're going to be sending a string and then now we're going to deserialize deserialize it. So we're going to go return uh, binary formatter dot deserialize and it's going to be our memory stream. Okay, so to go over this real quick, and then I'll probably end the video here for today, and we'll cover more uh, in the next video. We created another uh, public function, and it returns an object, and then we're going to call it load. We're going to send it the tag that the player press is going to point to to get the value. Here, this is what we we're sending it the tag to get the value. We're going to check that value to see if it's empty or not. If it's empty, we're not going to return anything. And then we set up a memory stream, which is the mem memory stream is what we manipulate with the binary formatter to deserialize our object. And then we're going to return that string or that object, excuse me. And so th that's basic 
binary serialization uh, again I suggest read up on it if you guys have a ton of questions about it I can uh, do my best to make it just a separate tutorial on serialization uh, there's a whole bunch of other serializations out there um, but this is just the gist of it so I hope you found the video useful I hope you guys can use this for your projects and uh, like I said in the next video I'll show you how to actually serialize an object and uh, then we're going to move on to uh, instantiating our character and move on to some other game systems. Alright, see you next time.